Oh yeah, right. Today I'm uh, I'm going to try one of these little uh, toothpick type of builds. Um, first time I've ever done this, so this is all the stuff I've ordered. Uh, most of it is all from Banggood, uh, apart from the a little toothpick type of frame. It's called the Pickle. Uh, got this off of eBay, and it's approximately, as you can see there, it's about a two mil thick frame which should be all right it comes in at about I think it's 5.8 if it's not I'll, I'll put it up on the screen 5.8 grams uh, all the links anyway for all of this is down below and I'll be doing a few modifications on the main flight board I'm gonna well, I'm gonna try and take these little these little uh, sockets off just to a uh, to save a tiny bit of weight and also because I've got the little Amax uh, little motors which are the three hold ones if you can see that I don't know if you can see that focusing but these are the little uh, 1103 uh, 7500 kV 1 to 2s so of course these haven't got the little uh, little plugs on the end so I'll be taking the plugs off of that and directly soldering them as well. Uh, with the pickle frame also, uh, while I remember, it comes with a little holder as well, which is for the EOS uh, camera, which is this one here. The little turbo EOS 2, and that fits lovely in there. So that's, that's, the, main, that's the main sort of build there, and I'll just be building that on top. We'll see how that goes, I haven't tried it yet. Um, I've uh, got a little uh, a real AC antenna just to see if that's any better than the standard one that comes with the uh, VTX and this one's a happy model one as well so uh, that comes with a few little bits and pieces in there and that's going to be that goes up to 200 milliwatt so hopefully that's going to be enough and with the flight controller this is the Pro 2 V2 Crazy BF4 Pro V2 and that comes with a multiple of power I'm going to be using the XT30 because I think from what everyone says it gives a better a better power delivery so that's what I'll be using uh, I've got a few extra ones of those as well because the batteries I've got come in, which are the 450 GMB ones, they come with uh, some little white connectors, I think the JSR ones, so I'm going to change them over to these. Uh, like I say, I'll put all the links down below to everything that I've got here. Uh, just some little 2540 gem fan props as well. Uh, these are tri blades. I know that. Uh, other people like kebab and that they use these red these red ones I've got these as well but these are a one mil hole I'll have to drill them out I think by the looks of it they're actually doing blades like this now but with a 1.5 shaft size because that's what these are on here um, but these are very nice motors these are they're very light as well uh, they come with uh, all the all the little bolts as well but I will be using the gem fan ones to, to 
to carry on with. Um, and also I ordered myself some HGLRC M2 screw pack as well. I'll like I say, link in there. So I'm going to be using the long metal screws and maybe some of the spacers just to, to create the stack as I'll have that on the on the main board and that will be just above well, that's the plan anyway, so uh, we'll give it a go. But right now, I'm going to see if I can hopefully not destroy this and desolder these bits on here. Okay, so uh, three done. I'll have to clean up the, the pins. Uh, a bit of flux on there and just pull away and it should all be nice and clean. Uh, just one more to go, hopefully. It looks quite good so far. So it does get rather hot. So uh, if there's another method that anyone knows out there, just stick it down there and uh, I'm sure everyone will be very pleased about it. Uh, I'm just making sure that it has, my tip has got a nice little bit of blob of sold just so it covers all three. Careful not to uh, catch any of the other components because it's such a small little board. So I just blob a bit of solder on all three connections there and then I just warm it up and I just gently put pressure on the back and it pulls the pins straight out. Hopefully, I'm nearly there. There we go. Hopefully it hasn't uh, damaged the board too much. Okay, so just got to clean up the solder points now. I'll just put a little bit of flux on. I'll clean the iron and hopefully it will drag it all off and we're good to go. There we go, that's in three. Check that one. Yeah. And then these two. Plenty of flux on them. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, so that should leave us a bit of a bigger soldering points for the wires on each motor now and just make sure obviously that these aren't touching at all on the other side I'll, I'll probably use a magnifying glass just to double check on them
Okay. So we're finally there. All wired up. Oh, I've got a one cell battery here. Let's just see if it all blows up. No, that seems to be working. That's good news. Let's try Speedy B. There we go. Uh -huh. Okay. So the gyro is working okay. Okay, so that's going. Okay, that's going. Okay, so they're all going clockwise. Because I'll have to go into beta flight and uh, swap two of them around. Uh, what I'll probably do is, it doesn't really matter because I think I'll just have normal props in. So it'll be, it'll be number two and number three. That'll need to be reversed. Oh wow, don't tell me I can, can I, can I do it in the speedy B? So I want two in reverse and I want three in reverse. Well, now that is surely that that's brilliant. If I can now, if I bring the speed up, so that's going in, that's going in, it's going in. Oh, awesome! So there's a handy little. I never knew that Speedy B app did that. So that's that's brilliant. So you can actually not even bother going into BL Heli and you can literally just change the motor direction. Wow. When I'm on the field next time, if anything happens, I, that's brilliant.